even at the same perceived level, three, four dB lower, it sounds better. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss West TV. Hope you're having a great day. I brought back the rapid fire Q&A. So in this series of videos, I'm gonna answer your questions. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers. And if you wanna support the channel, but most important, if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mix Best TV member and access the already big and always growing library of in-depth mix and mastering courses, videos and tutorials, full mixes, breakdowns, from start to finish, mastering courses with all the settings for my analog gear and plugins, special videos, and a lot more. You also get me consultations with me via Skype or email. Next question is gonna be super quick, but maybe I'll put it with other videos. Chronix, level matching after processing, mainly saturation to increase the crest factor of a single track. How to level match after by peak level, RMS, or my ears. When I go in my ears, I think that I lose the process benefits of increasing the perceived loudness of the track. I hope I was clear. Um, well, it depends on what you do and what you want. I mean, if you saturate to lower the nominal level and increase the crest factor and you match the peak, that track is probably gonna sound like 60 B louder than everything. <laughs> So what you want usually if you did gain staging correctly, so your levels are pretty much there, you want to um, simply level match by ear, which doesn't mean that track that you process with saturation cannot be louder in the mix if that's what you want, okay? Let's say you want a track, uh, you want it brighter, more pushed, more aggressive, more everything, more upfront, that's your goal and Ideally, you want to do that without eating headroom or gaining headroom, right? The trick that I taught everybody about saturation. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's important to level match by ear when you do the processing, okay? Before and after. So before, when you're right there listening to the track, uh, you level match the processing itself. Then after you gained 60 B of headroom level, so your track was speaking at minus three and now it's speaking at minus nine. You want to boost it to a 3 dB or let the processing be louder because that's how you want the track in the mix. I do that all the time, you know? The important part is that you don't fool yourself when you do the processing by letting the process be louder. Once you level match and you understand, okay, this is actually better. It sounds like richer. It sounds more dense. It sounds more like I want it, you know? At that point, the level is yours. You can put it in the mix at the level that you want. If you did it correctly, you gain a bunch of headroom. So, you know, you have zero problems doing that. That's the purpose of, of you know, this kind of processing with saturation. Like, for example, I do that all the time with, uh, with my drummer, multiband uh, saturator, which is an amazing unit. But a multiband saturator is risky because it's, both a saturator and basically an EQ. It's so easy to trick yourself. So it happens that when I'm running material through it and I'm tweaking, I want the level to be the same as with and without to be able to click bypass and level match and hear, oh, wow, even at the same perceived level, which probably on the drummer is three, four dB lower, it sounds better. So at this point I gain these three, four dB, I can turn it up a little bit and make it more forward. But yeah, it depends on what you want, but definitely do by ear after you made sure that you didn't fool yourself uh, by making the process track louder. I hope this answered the question. <laughs>